Okay, we're going to go watch another movie at the Ragtag Cinema. And this one is going to be called The Taste of Things. And uh, I saw the trailer, and it looks like some people are going to be cooking some stuff. <laughs> I don't know much else about it. Oh, it's in a different language. But yeah, uh, when I get back out to the car, I'll let you know what I thought about it. I go to the movies. Who would have thought? So, here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do as a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, for what it's worth, I'm the Joshua Lukoku, and these are mine. The Taste of Things. It, uh, this is a nice little movie. It's, uh, it's mostly in French there, you know. So it's got all the subtitles. Uh, basically, at first I almost thought it was all, all going to be like, because it's like, the movie starts out where it's like, you, you kind of think it's a family, you know, and they're eating, they're, they're going to eat some breakfast, you know. And then immediately when breakfast is done, they start cooking this giant meal, you know, right after breakfast. And they cook for like hours. <laughs> and it's all for this dinner party that they're having or like a late lunch party or something, you know. But they, they've cooked all day. But then you get the, so the main character man, he's a famous chef, you know, and he's got his little circle of friends, you know, and there's the lady and she's actually his, like his cook. So she's like the, uh, this, the chef's personal cook, but they cook together, you know, and they're, they're like best friends, you know, and then they got this other lady, lady servant. She's not like a slave. She's just like a, a housekeeper but she kind of helps and she has a she's like watching this other little girl and during the course of this giant meal they're cooking the the, the man chef and the lady cook they notice that this girl is like kind of like a child prodigy at being able to taste things and and cooking and stuff like that so they're like oh well, maybe she should be her apprentice that sort of thing so I thought this is the entire movie is going to be cooking. And there is so much cooking. And this main character is breathing heavy the whole time he's cooking. <laughs> you know. But uh, but then the movie, it becomes more about... Uh, uh, you find out that the movie is more about this this uh, the chef and the cook and their relationship. So it's like, oh, okay. So this, there's more to it than just cooking. <laughs> you know, but they're like making these, these crazy meals and multiple stages, you know, to get things just right. And there's lots of philosophical talk about taste and, you know, you know, the order food needs to, to arrive and, you know, and, and pairing it with wines and stuff like that. So it's like, this is like a, a food nerd's dream movie, I would guess. I mean, I'm not real into it, so it's kind of like, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> you say so. I mean, I, I bet that all tastes real good. <laughs> so, and they're cooking with, I'm sure it was state of the art for the, oh, this is during the time of Napoleon. That's another, that's the other thing. At one point, the guy gets invited to Napoleon's house or something, or the prince or or the emperor or something, and there's going to be this big meal. They don't actually show that meal, but they talk about it a lot <laughs> there for a little bit. So, uh, the movie, the acting is great. The acting is great. The cinematography, I mean, it's good, but... Most of, most of it is just, it takes place in this old-fashioned kitchen, you know? So, I mean, how much can you do with that, really? You know, there is, there is other scenes, you know, going, they have stuff outside, you know, scenes. 
people will go for a walk or something. Oh, this is the weird. The weirdest thing about this movie is the sound design, <laughs> because it's like they have this. They're in this kitchen. They always leave the door open to the outside, and they always leave the windows open. So there's lots of outside sounds too. And there's there's this cat that's meowing throughout most of the movie. <laughs> But you never see a cat. You never see this cat. <laughs> but this cat is meowing most of the movie. It's the craziest thing. The cat. Now I don't. Here's one thing I know about cats: is it, if you could hear them and you have your door or window open, they will just come into your house. They don't care <laughs> if you don't want them there. It's like if I can get into it, I'm going to get into it. And they're, sitting, they're cooking fish and stuff like that. So I was like, this cat would obviously be in this kitchen. <laughs> there is no way they could keep this cat out of the kitchen unless they had the door and window shut. But this cat's just out. It, you never see it, but it's meowing most of the movie. It's the craziest thing. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so that's my my only real critique of the, the movie is this incessant cat meow <laughs> but anyway but other than that i mean the movie's good it's got heart you know it it looks delicious and uh you know you get a, a real feel for that these people are like super obsessed about their their craft you know but yeah so the taste of things it, it exists it's out there you can see it yeah. Those are my first thoughts and opinions after seeing the taste of things. I'm throwing them up on the thoughts and opinions pile. They'll soon be buried where everybody else's thoughts and opinions, obviously. Go ahead and tell me your thoughts and opinions, you know? Put them in the comments section. Uh, don't leave them uh, in the cupboard, you know, with the other food. Uh, like, subscribe. Ring that notification bell, you know, so you can be notified of future videos. And uh, don't forget to feed your cat. Uh, you know, don't just feed yourself. Feed that cat that's out in the courtyard. Meowing up a storm. And then, uh, you know, go to the doctor. If you're starting to faint while you're cooking. It just makes sense. <laughs>